Hello everybody. Um, I just wanted to talk to you today about taking things slow. You know, to not rush things and listen to your intuition. Because I know a lot of us, most of us all, we get really eager and just we want to get things done. We want, you know, to do what we're supposed to do and just do it. And I think a lot of us, you know, we do a million different activities in a day, whether it be grocery shopping, getting your kids from school, going to work, you know, filling up your gas tank in your vehicle. And we don't really ever stop to think, you know, is this really what I need to be doing right now? And asking your inner self, you know, your, your inner spirit, your Holy Spirit, if that's what you're guided to do. And when we do do that, things line up and life goes accordingly to how it's supposed to be. And you, you find happiness because it's the path you're supposed to be on. But a lot of us listen to our ego and we're just like, okay, we need to go do this, we need to go do that. And we don't really stop and ask our inner being if that's, if that's really what we need to be doing. So, you know, and I do that all the time and I've really been practicing trying to just stop before any little thing I do and ask, you know, just check into my inner self and ask, you know, is this, is this what I should be doing? You know, guide me and feel it out. Feel if that's what seems to be right for that moment. <coughs> like even the little things, like I looked at my room the other day and it, my bedroom was a mess and my ego self obviously didn't want to clean it. I wanted to go do other things. And I kind of, I was checking and meditating and and I, my room popped up in my mind and I realized, okay, yeah, I don't want to clean it, but that's what needs to be done because in the end, when I do clean it, it will benefit myself. It will make me feel more at peace. I'll have a room to think, to create, to do the things that I need to do. I can fully rest in that room without having clutter, you know, all around. So I buckled down and I did something that my ego didn't want to do, but because I listened to my intuition. And the whole rest of that day was amazing, you know, I had so many great thoughts come through my mind and I slept really well that night. And so I just wanted to share with you to remind you um, and remind us all so just take it slow. You know, things don't need to be so rushed. Um, I think we, we live in a society where we feel like it needs to be that way. And, I mean, you hear about people that live on, you know, tropical lands and stuff. They're more slow-paced or down south. And they're happier. They're generally happier people. And I think that's because they have the time to sit and think, you know, and before they make any rash decisions. So, um... I hope you all can kind of use that, maybe let it inspire you to listen to your inner being, listen to your Holy Spirit because it knows best, you know. I don't know all the answers at all. I hardly know anything, but I know who does, and that's the Holy Spirit. That's who's in us, who's in I and I. So, you know, check in and find out, get truth and answers from within, from the all-knowing and in turn that will help you and you will have a beautiful life. So it takes practice because I don't think anyone can be completely perfect at it. We're not perfect human beings and that's okay. But you know to just try and practice, do the best we can is all we can do and help encourage each other along the way. So I hope that that helped inspire you and maybe you can remind others to do the same. So have a good day and God bless. Hey guys, um, I was hiking back to my home and I thought of one last note to add when I was thinking about this message and practicing it myself. And if we aren't listening to our inner self and we're listening to our ego, our ego can stray us from the path we need to be on and bring us down a road that is going to be really hard to get back on the right path and you have to backtrack you know when you're not listening to to the truth in yourself and what God knows then you have to you know it's going to take a while to get back on that path so when we do stop even though we feel rushed and that 
you know, be quicker to just not even think and do. Um, it will actually take longer in the long run because it will put us on the wrong path and we'll have to backtrack and keep, you know, going back and then it will take longer. So if we're just listening and doing what we're supposed to, even if that process takes slower, you know, and it's not immediate results, um, it will come in time a lot quicker than if you try to do it listening to your ego. So, just want to share that. Love you all. Bye.